Hi, it's Heather, and welcome to this everyday yoga stretch to feel your best. So this is truly about feeling your best. I like to remind people that if you just don't feel right in a pose and just it's not working for you, always feel free to skip it. This is your practice. And with that said, let's get started sitting on our heels in the middle of our mats. Take both hands, interlace them, and send the palms forward. And then up. Inhale. Find some lift. And then exhale, lean to the right. And you can look up. Inhale back to center. And exhale, lean to the left. Inhale back to center. Release the hands, take them back behind you and just re-interlace. Open up through the shoulders, open up through the chest, look up, inhale. And then exhale, come back to neutral. Keep your fingers interlaced and just take both hands to the left side of you, to like the left side of your waist or your back. Lean your head to the left. Just a little neck stretch. And come back to center. Just take your hands to the other side of your waist and lean your head to the right. And come back to center. Under, interlace, shake the hands, and come to tabletop. Hands and knees, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale, lower through the stomach. Open up the chest. And exhale, round the back. Do a few more of these in your own time. Lowering the stomach on the inhale, and just exhaling as you round. Make your time with it, no need to rush. And then one more wherever you're at. Great, come to neutral. And then take your left foot out to the left side of you. Inhale, lift up the left hand to the sky. And exhale, thread it through underneath the right arm. Come onto your left shoulder, left temple. You can come to fingertips with this right hand here. So if this thread the needle doesn't work for you, you can always leave your left leg where it was in that neutral tabletop and then try it. and then press into the ground with this right palm. Come back up, use your hands to help yourself up all the way, and then take your left hand to your leg. Inhale, right arm comes up and over for gate pose. Exhale, drop these right fingertips to the floor, and I'm gonna run out of space here, but you're gonna inhale and take these left fingertips up overhead. And come back. Take your hands back where they were, uh, where the shoulders are over the wrists, and use this left leg Sweep it back all the way around to the right side of you. And then just look back to the right to that foot.
and then take this left foot all the way forward. Step it in between the hands, coming to low lunge. Inhale, lift up the torso, and you can place your hands on your front knee if you would like. Now from here, really find this squeezing of the inner thighs together as you lengthen down through the hips. And then drop the fingertips, shift the hips back, straighten through the front leg, flex the front foot. You can curl these back toes under for this one. And do your best to keep the hips square to the front of the mat. And if you have a bend in the front knee, that's okay too. Inhale. Find a flat back and exhale, fold. Inhale, come back up. And then if you'd like to take it to a little toe stretch here, you can shift back even more the front heel. Come to basically sit on your back heel with those toes curled under. And then go ahead and fold back down. Inhale, lift it all up, plant the palms, reset. Come back to tabletop. Take the right foot out to the right side. Just taking it to the other side. Inhale, lift this right arm up. And exhale, thread it through. Underneath, coming to right shoulder, right temple, and coming to fingertips with the left hand if you need. I just find it gives me a little bit more space. And then press through the left palm, lift it up. Use your hands to lift yourself all the way up. And right hand to the leg, inhale, left arm comes up and over. Look up. Exhale, left fingertips come to the floor. And then just take it back. Right fingertips sweep down and around. Take the hands back to that tabletop position and then this right foot is gonna sweep all the way back and then around to the left side. Go ahead and look back towards that, that right foot <laughs> on the left side. And then take this foot forward, step it through, all the way to low lunge. Inhale, lift the torso, hands can come to the knee if you would like, or the hips. and then fingertips come down, shift it back for half split. Straightening through the front leg, flexing the front foot. Hips stay square. Curl those back toes under. Inhale to the flat back, and exhale to fold.
And if you want to take it deeper, come back to that flat back and just shift back onto to come to sit onto your heel. So front foot should be shifting back a little bit for that toe stretch. And when you're ready, using an exhale to fold down once more. Inhale to take it back up, plant the palms, step the foot back, and then just lower the hips right where they are onto the heels coming to child's pose. Three breaths here. And then inhale. Lift up the hips, shift the palms forward a bit, and lower them down. Come to Cobra. And send it back. Exhale. Hips to heels. Inhale once again, Cobra. Just flowing through. And exhale, send it back. One more time. Inhale. Come all the way forward. If you need to place a little bend in the elbows, you can. And then send it back. Curl both back toes under. Lift up the hips. Lift up the knees. Come to downward facing dog. So if you need to keep a generous bend in the knees here, feel free. Chest presses towards the thighs. And if you want to walk it out a little, you can, bending through one knee and then the other. Lower the knees, swing those feet around out in front of you, come to the center of your mat again, and then bring both soles to touch. Bringing your legs into a little diamond shape here. So hands come, uh, thumbs on the inside of the soles as if you were gonna open up a book. Inhale, long spine, find some length. And then exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, come back up, and take both hands up to the sky. Exhale, right hand comes to left knee, left fingertips behind you, look back. And then once more, inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to the other side. and come back to center. From here, just go ahead and cross your legs. We're gonna take a mini sheeted, <laughs> seated Shavasana, not sheeted Shavasana. <laughs> if you wanna lay down, you can also do that. So feel free to do whatever works the best for you. Hands come to the knees, close the eyes, and just sit up nice and tall. Let your shoulders relax. Let your jaw relax. The face. And begin to notice the sounds around you. Maybe even the sound of your heartbeat. Take this time to tune in. Just 
short and sweet today, so if you'd like to stay here, feel free. If you'd like to close the practice with me, slowly blink the eyelids open, take the hands, and namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I will see you soon. If you like more to see more practices like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I upload new free classes here to my channel every single week. I'll see you soon. Bye.